Outstanding balance. So this is like a continuation question as we do have with Outstanding Balance, but I wanted to make it a completely separate video. So for those of you that actually searched it, you'd find it on the channel and you wouldn't have to go through other present value calculations. Present value is pretty easy to understand. It's literally just a formula and we're either calculating, well, the present value or the monthly installment or even an N amount from time to time. And we might use a logarithm to solve for it, but this is Outstanding Balance. So that was our answer for the monthly installment, the 14,975, 70 cents. 7.2.2, calculate the outstanding balance immediately after the 144th payment was made. I don't know if you can hear some cats purring in the background. Those are my girlfriend's cats. Yep, a lot of, lot of noise in the back. Very, very naughty, naughty cats. Scratching, jumping on the laptop. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? So, so cute. On the sketch pad as well. Working with cats, eh? You always have a study buddy, but, but they're also a little bit annoying sometimes. Nah, I'm just joking. So in order to calculate outstanding balance, we are still going to use, that's the per, so cute. So we are gonna utilize our present value formula to calculate outstanding balance. Now I know your teachers, they like to use that A minus F calculation. I, I don't, it's just, it's too big. It's too long, it's ugly. Yeah, I, um, I, I would stay as far away from it as possible. I prefer using present value because it's just, it's more efficient. So we use the present value formula here. Our X value is still gonna be the 14,975,70. Everything else remains the same. Interest is exactly the same, that 0, 0,105, the 10 and a half percent over 12, exactly the same. But this is the kicker, everybody. This is where everything changes. Our N value is the remaining payments. It's the remaining payments. So calculate the outstanding balance immediately after the 144th payment was made. So to calculate remaining payments, we take the total payments that were made. So 20 years, monthly payments. So that's gonna be 20 times 12 minus 144. And that's how we get remaining payments. And that'll give us a total of 96, but we indicate it here as a negative 96 because there's a negative in the formula. Okay, and all of that is simply going to be over 10.5% over 12. Okay, and you can just plug all that good stuff into your calculator and you get 969,927 and 74 cents. So for those of you that were so skrik about this section, um, it's really not that difficult. Look, future value and present value, they're easy. It's just formula work and find out which variable you're looking for. And for outstanding balance, don't be scared of it. Everything else is exactly the same. You just, one, you steal that monthly installment. So you firstly calculate X, you get your monthly installment, your quarterly installment, whatever it is. And you just plug it in here, plug it in there. Once you get X, you can plug it in immediately. Everything else, it stays the same. Blay de Selvda, look at me speaking Afrikaans. Yo, but I know, not all of you do Afrikaans as your second language. That means it stays It stays the same, yammer. So everything else stays the same. Look at me speaking Afrikaans in a maths video. And our final step is we calculate the remaining payments, the REM payments. You know, I've always battled with my M's, hey? Like instead of doing an M like that, I, 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 I don't know. I really don't know. Grade one was like, a, it was a tough year, you know? And last, just plug it into your calculator. It's calculator work. And those are the steps for outstanding balance. It's really that easy. Don't let your teachers or any other YouTuber or your textbook or whoever else complicate it for you. It's basic, just like you.